Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff with nails. <sighs> I'm not on the screen again today. I've been on auntie duties this week, so there's not really been time, but we will. I wanted to do another quick, easy flower video before Easter. I don't know why before Easter. And I'm starting with Madame Glam's River Walk, which is from their latest collection. I'm going to be using this for white in this set. It is white, and I think it does it have a hint of something else. What do you think? I don't know if it does. I thought it did, but I don't think it does. Um, and then I'm going to do a blue this is an old brand that doesn't exist so i'm doing two white nails one is having or are they both having two coats i can't remember i think they're both having two coats and then i'm doing two of the blue and one in this yellow and that's all the colors we're using for this set just blue yellow and white so the yellow will have two coats as well and then on this first white one we're going to do some polka dots nice and easy another super easy set although daff not daffodils what are the flowers we're doing on this set daisies um i've always struggled with daisies i don't know why i love doing intricate stuff but when it comes to things like daisies i just i, I, I suck so i think i've managed to figure out for myself how to best do daisies when you suck at them like I do but we're not on that yet so we're doing polka dots obviously starting with a line down the center when you're doing an all over pattern start in the middle and then work outwards because then you've got you know you don't end up with a gap in the middle if it was a gappy part does that make sense so then we'll do the dots either side of it but between the center line dots and then as we carry that pattern on it will be next to but in the middle of the two on the other side <laughs> polka dots joseph they're just polka dots i think i went a bit thick on the sides here because it's sort of um this looks a bit bubbly on the side so i'm just going to wipe off a little bit of the color so it's not as blobby and then we'll put that aside for now and then we're going to do the same on the other white nail with blue and I will add more to it because I thought they were looking a bit a bit naked, looking a bit bland and empty. So we'll get our blue polka dots on and then making sure to do a little bit at the top here. So make sure the pattern carries on as far as the eye can see, which we talked about when we were doing, what were we doing the other day? The gingham ones. Even if there's only a small gap, but there would if there would be pattern there, if it was more of a gap, then put that part of it on. So on the very sides here, we'll put, and this top bit here, we'll just put half a circle. And on the sides here, just a little hint of a circle starting so that the pattern carries on and on and on and Ariston. Last year we built a million Ariston and on and on and on. <laughs> How old school is that advert? And Ariston and on. I can never say and on without saying Ariston. Right, I'm now adding some little yellow dots between the blue ones. I did blue between the yellow, but somebody forgot to press record. Was it me? I won't say. It was me. Um, so we're going to just do using the other end of the dotting tool or a completely different dotting tool. I can't remember what was the color of the first one. I think it is just the other end. So we'll put those in between our blue dots and it just kind of jazzed it up a bit, made it a bit more interesting than polka dots again nice simple quick easy sets so there's the yellow one i think i prefer the yellow one you can see the smaller dots better but i forgot to film it and now we're going to start our daisies daisies yes and the first one is appalling i don't know how i managed to do things like the marauders map that we did on the harry potter set or what other nail was there that was really intricate oh the D -d 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 the Route 66 nail but then when it comes to things like daisies I just cock them up I don't know why and I think well I think it's mistakes are much more or not so much mistakes just 
imperfections are much more apparent when things are really simple and plain. So it's things like this that I hate doing, but I decided today was going to be the day I, maybe master might be a bit too much, but I get daisies down. I know lots of people will just press the brush onto the nail to get the dot and then sort of swipe it down and get this perfect, de I can't do that. I think I've done it with some other things, but I can't do it for these. So this first one, is tragic. I won't really go into detail as to what I'm doing because I think the next few I improve a bit and I don't do them like this. So ignore this one. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that um, doing things over and over, you will, how quickly you can improve on something. So I did this and thought uh, I wasn't happy with it, but it was going in the lamp anyway. But then how I knew what to change doing the next one. And then after that, I knew what to change from that one so it's easy to improve things especially if you do them straight after another so this one again I realized to put the dots so that the the outside of the dot so not the part that is on this side the part at the top make sure they're all the same height by which I mean even though they're all at a different angle they are one isn't much lower than the other one and it always it felt like it was going to be too big by doing that i don't know how to describe this make sure the top of your dot doesn't sit lower than the top of the dot before it i don't know how i think this is the type of thing when i'm on screen i can describe better because i can gesticulate but I hope that kind of makes sense. And then again, I'm doing the same sort of thing that I did with the first one, but I was trying to get more dots on there. But I still went on and found another step to add to try and help because as I'm pulling these in towards the center, it's not really going to the center and they're all getting a bit, a bit lost. I mean, we're going to cover up the mess in the middle, so it's not a big deal. But this next one, so I did another one, I think, on that nail. And then here I'm adding the dots, making sure this whole dot thing, see that one I just did, that needs to be further out. Do you see how it was kind of a bit lower than the one before it? I'll see if I can figure out a way to do some kind of animation to try and go along with what I'm trying to explain. Don't expect Pixar or anything. It will be very crude, but hopefully it will help. So. I thought now let's get our center point so we have somewhere to take the the petals to so you can start your straight line from any because any dot because it's a circle and then from each one I'm going from the center of the dot and pulling it to the center just as a guide for the most basic flowers ever actually not the most basic that was the last video I would say these are the second most basic flowers to paint but for some reason I just really struggle with so I'm now taking the sides of the dots towards the center point that we've now established our center point so we have a, a destination to go to and then I thought that my pulling the product from the dot see I'm not dipping in to product and more product I'm just using the product from the dot and then I am kind of messing up some of the dots a bit. So I've then in the next one thought of another step or not kind of adding steps, but just a way to avoid doing that. Oh, I think I'm starting it here and I will do a close up um, slow-mo of it at some point coming up soon just to avoid ruining or messing up the shape of the dot because we want the top of the petals to stay nice and round but now we have the center point you can see already that they're looking better this one's looking better than the one before it so I was quite happy that yay I'm slowly figuring out how to do a basic daisy so we'll just bring those all to the center and then this bit I'm doing in super slow-mo I'm going to touch my brush to the left side of that dot and then sort of bend it round towards the right to bring the right side down. And then I'll do the same for the other side. I'll dip to the right side of the dot here and then kind of up and bend my brush to bring it round to the left. And I found this just stopped me from messing up the dot shape. Your brush was kind of in the 
bent curved coming down at an angle position from without messing up or poking into the side that you were bringing it down from does that make sense I did find that it made a difference I, I wasn't messing up my dot shape so I was going from one side and just kind of let your brush get in the bent I've already said this I, I don't know how else to describe it hopefully it made sense by seeing it in slow-mo so I think those ones I think I then got a bit excited and thought let's just cover the shit out of these nails with daisies because now I can do daisies kind of they're okay it probably takes me longer than a normal person who can just put their brush poke it poke it to get a dot and then sweep it down but if you're like me and for some reason you can't do that for daisies then this is my, my little cheat way to do it so you can see again I'm going from one side of the dot and sort of bend, lifting up and bending as if I'm about to go around in a circle from here to there but just go around to the other side and pull down and then the same so start on the left of the dot kind of start to do a circle towards the right but then come down at an angle and then the right of the dot start to circle anti-clockwise or should say right so we start using clock terms when we've been using left and rights and then bring it down at an angle I was very aware while painting that I would be absolutely useless at describing what I'm trying to describe but hopefully hopefully my rambling and a visual is kind of making some sort of sense so now we've got those on just need to do some little bits where they were coming out uh coming off the nail and then yeah then I just got carried away and wanted to just keep doing more daisies maybe I should have just covered the oh you know what I should have done actually no stop it let's not get ahead of ourselves I was thinking I should have then gone in between everything and started but I wouldn't have been able to get the tops of the petals in because they'd be underneath you know just stop it quit while you're ahead Joseph so we're doing the same on here right to left down and then left to right down and then we are going like I say we're going to cover up all the messiness in the middle but it's not too messy I mean you don't want anyone to see it but it's not as bad as the first one was and we'll see the comparison when I put the two nails together after we've done the dots but now we're going to full cure that because we're going to take our yellow and dot oh look at my first daisy there you see it's not bad it's okay but compared to just sort of realizing little things that I could change to make it easier and they have improved by the time we get to the last daisy so that was quite nice to be able to see I'm glad I kept the crappy first one on there so I could see see that it had made a bit of a difference and then we will full cure our yellow dots as well and I think these might be the first white petaled yellow centered flowers I've done that haven't looked like I've dropped a fried egg on the floor someone said in the comments the other day that theirs looked like that and I'd said that in a video before when they yeah but I think Compared to the first one, which is in the middle on the left nail, I think those little changes and just realising a few things has made a difference. And quickly, you know, it was in over a few minutes. So it just goes to show that if, if you think that you can't do something, which I was the complete mindset of, I don't know how to draw daisies when I started, and then just quickly learning, okay, maybe this needs to be done differently and this needs to be done differently, how quickly you can improve something. Um, look at me talking like my daisies are perfect they're not but they're better than the first one I did and now I don't know whether this goes with the set but I wanted some sparkle so I put some base coat over the yellow and just covered it in glitter I would normally use a little spatula and do it neatly but I just opened the bag and poured it on there and then I'm going to just pat it in wasn't sure if I wanted to leave it raw and sugared like this or whether to top it so I thought well we'll poke all the bits in from the side which would do anyway um, and then just press on it a bit so it's kind of press it into it so it's as flat as possible and then dust off and then we're going to top everything and I'm going to top quite thickly because everything is bumpy and if you did this in matte then you wouldn't see a wiggly light line being the line of light the reflection of light that you see on nail you want it to be as straight as possible sorry <laughs> do you ever get a tiny pinprick sting at the back of your throat I just got that and it made me out of breath um, yeah I'm doing this quite thick because I want to help this the light line be straight 
Whereas if I'd have really sort of brushed it firmly on the nail, it would have shown all lumps and bumps. If you did the matte, you wouldn't see the wiggles in the light line, but you would feel the lumps and bumps still. You just wouldn't notice them as much. Oh, rogue bit of glitter, fuck off. And so I'm doing the same on the, the daisies, just making sure that I put quite a thick layer of top coat. And I don't know whether I've done it already. I think I did it on that first one. Once I'd got my top coat on, before curing it, I got a bit more top coat on my brush and then just ran a line down the center. And that's going to mean that it's the thickest in the center. So it's going to be a straighter light line because it's thick and it's not, you know, the lumpy bumpiness is underneath, deep down below the thick top coat. So like brushing here quite firmly, firmly, firmly. Um, oh, I thought I showed you that the light line was really wiggly, but a, a thicker one will smooth that out. So you could use a rubber top coat would be uh, good for this case. And then I filed and, oh no, I haven't. I'm topping the glitter. I did want it shiny. And then I'm going to file, not, I've sped this up, so I'm not doing it as roughly as it looks, but just to file off any big pokey out bits and then make sure that any sticking out bits from the free edge had been filed off so it was smooth and then give it a buff. If it's a finer glitter than this, then you don't need to file, you can just buff. Um, and then we're going to top again so it's nice and smooth. Topping filed glitter is the most satisfying thing in the world. And just like that, we are done. Shall we have a look at the final set? Okay, here it is. Does the glitter go? I'm not sure. I don't think it's too offensive. I really like seeing the first daisy and then the, which is on the right nail and then the ones on the middle nail, just how different they look. Like I say, they're not perfect. The best daisies you'll ever see, that's for sure. But there is a vast difference from having figured out a little technique. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you being here so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye.